What is up, you guys? I think it is September 7th. Is it se uh, September 7th, darling? Let's check. We've had such a busy week. Yes, it is Wednesday, September 7th. Guys, you heard that. It's Wednesday, September 7th, 2022. We're on the Little Arctic Circle, Highway 18, the front side. We're heading into the fire. I know a lot of you have wanted me to do an update on this. We were staying at a hotel um, in Sky Forest called the Sky View Inn, and it was spectacular, guys. The view was amazing. I did a video for you guys there, a drone video also. Um, it's the nicest hotel view I've ever seen. So um, anyway, we're heading into town right now on Highway 18. As I said, we're almost there. Now you can see some of the smoke. And apparently my area, or our area, my wife and I, our house got even like uh, one block away was evacuated. All of Moon Ridge, all the way down to a street called Evergreen was evacuated, but I'm literally like a block and a half down from there. So I don't think we were evacuated yet, but I'm gonna keep this camera on because I feel like we're gonna be driving by some cops who are, who are gonna wanna see some ID to be let into town. So I just want you guys to see how serious it is. And I'm sorry, I, it took me forever to upload a video on this. I wasn't here. When we went to the hotel, guys, there was not a fire at Snow Summit. When we got to the hotel, there was a fire at Snow Summit. And so, <laughs> yeah. And guys, yeah, it, look, it's, yeah. And then you can also see what town's like, what's open. See how open these roads are right now, too. Even though you, you probably don't want to come up here because we need all this space for all the fire trucks if they need to run into town and all the safety crews and stuff like that. But yeah, we're on the little Arctic Circle, as I said. Getting closer and closer. It's just crazy that that's right above my house, all that fire, like that is so crazy. Babe, that is crazy. Yeah, guys, you know what? We are, there's a ton of smoke, a ton of smoke, and it, it's gonna get a lot worse where we live. I'm really worried about my kitty cat inside. I'm mean, worried about the chickens. And we're worried about the chickens who are on the other side of town, thankfully, but. Oh my gosh. Here, let me clean this one, chill out. Sorry, baby. My message to Tracy failed. No way. That's okay. We're we're getting back. Two hours later. Yeah. Two and a half hours later. At least it's not nighttime to put them away. Yeah. Hi, you guys. We're oh, left, right, left, right, left into town. <laughs> <laughs> See if there's any cops here holding people back. They're letting us in. So far, so good. Oh my gosh, it is. This town is dead. Man, this is. It's kind of, kind of eerie, isn't it? How it just seems like. Uh, usually there will be cars in front of us, cars behind us. Yeah, there's these people. They're hauling butt. They're getting the hell out of here. Well, I thought for sure right there they would be stopping people from coming in. I did too, 100. percent Let's see up we can go without them. I bet when we get to, to like Moon Ridge and Summit Boulevard. Well the last I read it said Mill Creek to Lakewood and Silver. Two and ten and silver. I don't know. Yeah. Silver something. So that Mill Creek I was thinking was on off of the Highway 38 Mill Creek. Mm -hmm. So I'm really hoping it's not this one right up here. I'm pretty certain it's not but it's close enough to the Snow Summit fire where it could be. But is it 2 and 10 here? 2 and 10 is here, yeah. So it could be the Snow Creek. Possibly. Possibly. If, if it is, then that's way too, way too, well, it already is way too close to home. It's nerve-wracking, you guys, especially because, as you, as I said, we were staying, we, we 
went on a little vacation and it's such such an amazing spot and right when we got there the ownership of the hotel because they know i'm from big bear they know we're from big bear they started talking to us about the fire and i'm, and I'm like what are you talking about and this is as we're looking at the hemet fire from six thousand feet up just the most incredible view we're just watching that fire glowing um and they were telling us about a fire at like snow summit <laughs> and we're like what no way so yeah and then last night about as i was telling people that we're not evacuated all, all of a sudden they evacuated us i think partial is was um the original uh, right? no voluntary and the other was uh, mandatory mm -hmm. so i guess we did go through both of the phases right I had thought I had seen on the news that originally, like, as the fire crept over the mountaintop, that they had uh, voluntary evacuations for that Moon Ridge area, but then last night, they, they threw down the hammer and said, you all need to make, like, Tom and Cruise. for you guys to see. It's not just the fire by itself, but it's driving into the fire. <clears throat> and guys, we it, it's not like we want to do this. We have to do this. The yeah. hotel even offered us more nights because of the fire and our evacuation status. That was really nice of them, wasn't it? Like, like that was very nice of them. They were really nice people. So guys, this place... Uh, has a very young couple that actually run it. It's the parents that own it. But when I saw this young couple, I was thinking to myself, you guys, please don't screw this up <laughs> because you guys have such a good thing going for you. I'll bet they like live there too, don't you think, probably? They do, they live upstairs inside okay. that office that we have. Oh, okay, okay. So they have the best view. Because <laughs> when he came down, he was in his socks. Oh, okay. And I was like, ooh, I like it already. How welcoming. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. really, though, that's how I felt. I mean, it, it was very, like... Homey. Homey. Yeah, totally. It was comfortable, you guys. It, it had kind of a mildly dated vibe, but it was what I like. It was, it was, it was just... It, yeah, just not... And the view made up for anything. <laughs> yeah, gosh, yeah. Wait till you guys see the damn video that I made of it. Unfortunately, because of all the smoke, it wasn't as good as it could have been, but I think you guys will still really enjoy it. I flew the drone from there over to Lake Arrowhead and everything. Like, it was just super cool. I didn't realize how close Lake Arrowhead really is to there, right? It's right there. That was fun. I had a really good time. I did too, baby. I did too. I can't wait till we can do that again. They have a four bedroom spot for like two fifty nine a night, you guys. Can you believe that? It's literally the best view I've ever seen and it's got like Motel 7 prices. It's crazy to me. They have rooms that are a hundred dollars a night there, you guys. Like and it's I think they only have maybe like eight six to eight rooms total. But it's it's pretty spectacular. I mean, this is the only hotel with with my wife where I dare sleep with the blinds open. <laughs> you guys know why, but yeah, because it's that view was just it was just like I I I needed to absorb as much of that view as I possibly could. It was so peaceful and so free. Dogs are so So I'm going to stop the video and then I'm going to turn it back on just so we can. Yeah, guys, we got into town with like zero issues. And there is nobody in town. Yeah. No. I, I think evacuation status, as dangerous as that is, um, it might be a, a good excuse for a lot of people up here to be like, oh, I'm not going to work. I'm leaving town. I'm going to the beach. <coughs> it's a great excuse to do that. Is it, isn't it? Obviously, we're worried about our homes. Obviously. Yeah. Well, I'm more worried about just the pets. Than 
Yeah, yeah. These these homes we can re Otherwise, we can rebuild. It's our we pets that we can. Another game. I know, right? Yeah. This damn fire. Who the hell set this thing? Oh my gosh. They cut. They they caused our vacation to be one day cut Was one it day. Set? Early. Somebody somebody uh, lit the fire. I don't know, but because those thunderstorms that night that I recorded the storms were way the hell on the other side of the mountain. I, I know it it wasn't. It didn't start from a lightning strike. So. Maybe like an electrical fire. And you know what? That's that's what I'm hoping. Because it breaks my heart to hear that. I don't think they've given any reasons for this fire. I sure yeah. hope not. I sure hope it's not a bad. Well, any fire is bad, but I just hope it's not arson. If so, they should literally burn these people alive. That's. Oh my goodness. I know that's really really bad, you guys, but I believe that. Eye for an eye. And they should televise it and everything. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're getting really close now. I mean, we are getting really close now. I'm getting, I'm getting nervous. If we can drive up Summit or take some of the back streets real quick to avoid the avoid the police to get a little closer shots, we certainly will. I promise you guys we're not going to get in their way. I would never do that. I'm not selfish like that. I'm not going to... Hinder their progress. Oh yeah, look. The chopper with its water thing hanging down. There, apparently it's been non-stop. There's been like eight or nine choppers going back and forth to the lake. There's another one dropping some water. Yep. There maybe you can wow. Get in. I don't know. Okay you guys, on this street we're gonna you know, let me uh oops. My windows are bad. So am I. So that's kind of like to the right of Snow Summit, but look at this dog. He's like, what's up, fool? He's like, hey guys, there's a fire. Oh, look at him. cars in the drive through line. Gosh, that's terrible. I feel so bad for them. Everybody should be able to go home right now. Alright guys, since I'm assuming some uh, Summit there can let us go go down, we're gonna go down our way to Summit Boulevard. Sneak across. And then up here, we'll once we get to Right before Summit, I can't remember the name of the streets. I'm gonna turn right and head up that way. But yeah, you guys, it's smoky. Oh, sorry, baby. I don't want you to keep on sucking in all the smoke. Okay, we have the filter on the inside of the car. Good. So it's recirculating the clean air inside, not taking anything from outside. Good. Good, good, good. I don't even know how to change that. You just push it. Oh, so if you put it on a different mode, you can change it. Like, uh, I turned it on one time. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna drive up to Snuff Summit on the back way, and someone else is doing the same thing up there. Okay, <laughs> guys, we're we're getting just as close as the news crews. This is pretty cool. And then, but I got. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really hope you guys don't know what we're talking about because this is so gross. <laughs> Exit only. 
Wow, right. do not enter. We'll just ignore that. Well, that's always there. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to act like I didn't know there's a fire. Mm. Be like, what? I thought that was clouds. You know what? I bet if we stopped here for one one minute, we would have a helicopter flying directly over us. Looks like somebody has a. Oh yeah, a, it's it's a news crew. Or they were set up. Maybe just like a fire watch type of thing. This doesn't look that bad, babe. So there it is. I wish Ray would let us take the lift up right now. <laughs> oh, goodness. Look at, look at, watch that plane drop. Watch it drop. Drop its stuff. Or maybe it's not dropping its stuff right now. Or it has to come in at a different angle of attack, so he's making a big hard right right now. Or it's not as hard as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see where it goes. <laughs> God, this is... Like Guys, this is our Southern California ski resort, guys. This is it. This is like, this is the spot. Hey, that is incredible. So, guys, I'll show you where the evacuation oh, is. I'm so sorry. Oh, no worries, baby. I'll show you where the evacuation zone is. So, um, basically, from this point here to the right, all the way, all of Moonridge. So, we're not going to go right here because it's closed off up there. And then Evergreen is this next street. It's closed off. I think Brownie was closed too. But we're going to take Brownie anyway to Moonridge. All right, guys. So anything else, I will patch it to this video for you guys. Other than that, that's what's going on right up here. Love you guys. Okay guys, we're on the North Shore of Big Bear, North Shore Road. This part of it is Highway 38. We just passed where it was Highway 18. Very confusing up here, you guys, but even the signs are super, super confusing. I can't believe that's on our side of the mountain. That's craziness. Sorry about all the trees, you guys. Dropping its boss check. Wow, all the red stuff is amazing. Well, that was so cool, you guys. That was a lot of check. I've got a couple choppers coming in. Or at least I thought I saw. And going, there's a huge plane flying up there. Wow, that is so close. I mean, that's like not even that high up the mountain either. We could hike that. Okay, well, I thought we were gonna get some, so, some more aircrafts dropping stuff off. Here, you know what, I'm gonna zoom in for a second. I'm interested to see what this is going to look like at nighttime, you guys. It's going to be so glowing. I just hope uh, they're able to do something. The good thing is, is that we're on the downslope. Usually fires like going uphill. All right, well, that's enough for right now. Take care, you guys. Be safe. Okay, we're pulling up from that street that, that we were just on. It's just, you can really see the smoke rising right here. It's really bad, you guys. 
I mean, it's not as bad as I thought, but it is really bad. This one? Oh, oh yeah. see the smoke rising that's how close we are to it dang it good good call i didn't realize this is how you would get back here can we get through it looks like Excellent. the gate was open uh, yeah there's a gate open right there is there yeah go in anyway it says exit only guys but there's a huge fire i'm scared perfect Gonna turn around and get a nice view of this, you guys. So this is the rest of town. Look, it's so peaceful, so beautiful. And you turn around and it's hell. Oh wait, you know what? Let me back up a little bit. We can actually see. So we can actually see. A lot of you probably parked going to Snow Summit to go skiing, and then they bring the, the, the big truck to pick you up. Okay, here we go. That's a better view right there. Let's get a little zoom in here. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for right now. Any more updates, I will let you know. Take care. Stay safe out there. Okay guys, we're driving into Moon Ridge. This is the detour around Moon Ridge Road where all the shops are, where they're doing this huge roundabout and just, just I don't know, they're doing a lot of work to make it pretty and the accessibility easier. So it, it takes us through here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get you guys a shot of it right now because the detour takes us through the center of it, as a matter of fact. And what we're doing right now is we're gonna head over towards Bear Mountain, because the fire's in between Summit and Bear. So we're just gonna try to do what we can. <laughs> but I'm gonna <coughs> pan over real quick here. So this is what it looks like. This is the new Moon Ridge, guys. This is what new Moon Ridge is going to be looking like on this side. Sorry, baby. And then on this side, and there's gonna be a big roundabout at the end up here, or at, at both ends, I'm not sure, right? One, at the very end up there. Gotta count on my wife to make sure that I'm telling you guys the right things. <laughs> so, that is correct. It is on that, the end over by the zoo. That is where they're gonna have the roundabout. It's saying here's the detour right here, but we're gonna go up a little further, because we know town. Bo knows town. All right, let's see here. For those of you Bo Jackson fans, you'll, I hope you got that. The guy who could have been the best running back who ever lived to date. That guy was a monster. 
All right, you guys. So now we are driving through Lower Moon Ridge, heading towards the golf course right now. This is gonna dead end us right at the end of the zoo, the beginning of the golf course, or the end of the zoo, and then where the driving range is. And we're just gonna take a quick little, we might drive up to 2N10, even though it's closed, just to, I bet they have cops up there. <laughs> My wife is so pretty. I would, I would ask her to like, to walk up to the guys and just be like, "Can we please go? <laughs> Can we please?" Because she is so pretty. Okay. And we're coming up to one of my favorite houses that I've seen down here. It's to the right a little bit, but it's a really, really beautiful house. It has a sauna. It, it's one of the houses that my my wife does for the whole Airbnb thing. It's so beautiful, you guys. As a matter of fact, her boss has been so good to her. I'm just gonna point it out because I, I want you guys to, uh, to to check this place out on the inside. Here it is right here. What's the address there, babe? 870 Club View. It's 870 Club View in Big Bear Lake, you guys. I know you didn't get the best view, but it's huge inside. It's got a freaking sauna inside. It has a jacuzzi three or four bedrooms, two, like a huge, huge living room, another office, a giant kitchen. Like all the hallways, you guys, are super wide. So it just feels like you're just walking in the lap of luxury there. It's really, really nice. Do you agree, baby? Yeah, she's nodding her head right now. It's one of my favorite houses. It also has a really big tub that you can soak in. Oh, that's it right. Does, it's not like a whirlpool tub or anything like that. It's one of those old, like what would it be like a 1940s like a, like a standalone type of like yeah, like a, but it's really cute and has like a detachable pose that you can spray yourself with it's just a beautiful tub it really is you guys i mean everything about that place i fell in love with right away yeah the whole house is beautiful and it's directly across the street from the golf course too so when you walk out of your house every, every morning all you see is beautiful green grass you know what babe we should go golfing today there's nobody, there's no one yeah. playing. Because this would, this would be the best day to teach you Are how to play. Are they even open? It doesn't look like it, those bass. Well, we, we could walk, <laughs> we could take, fire. we could take our golf clubs and, and we don't need a golf cart. See, oh, yeah. when I was trying to play pro golf years ago, I would always get crap. Um, from my people that are also doing that saying golf is not a game of polo. You don't ride in a cart, you walk, which is true. So, so we just passed Bear Mountain. Guys, I forgot to point out Bear. This is Bear. And we're driving up here to the 2N10, you guys, which is an off-roading adventure that I have recorded for you guys. It, 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 it takes you behind Snow Summit. Um, if it's open, we're gonna, no, no, my wife just freaked out. There's no way. <laughs> so we're, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Let me just give her some like sleeping pills and then we'll come back. <laughs> So, I just don't want to get in trouble for driving around and that's supposed to be That's driving. That's fair. And there's plenty of great views from... I just want to be in the fire. Oh, that, okay. Yeah. Well, I can go throw you in there <laughs> if you'd like. Oh, see, there oh. you go. And there's a, there's a perfect example. He's like tapping his hand like, where do you think you're going, buddy? Hey. Can we just make a U-turn at, at the top? I just wanted to record this for my YouTube channel up here. Is that bad? Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'll, I'll turn around right here. Okay, <laughs> thanks guys, I appreciate it. Have a good one. Hit the gas, just kidding. He said, are you kidding me? Yeah, he's buddy? like, he's like, what and are you, his eyes look he's like, what are you smoking? From the smoke, did you, did you notice that? Yeah, he's got some good stuff, you better share it. <laughs> <laughs> it is from the smoke, babe. Yeah, he was like, are you kidding me? My eyes are burning and you wanna go up there. Is there anything back See, of us, baby? I knew it, no. You have a, a reverse down there. There's Here, please wish them safety, baby, as we drive by. And I want them to see my face so they remember how awesome I am. Be safe out there. Thank you. Stay safe, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. He didn't give me crap.
talked about my phone the other day. I didn't even think about it, yeah, babe. I didn't even. Breaking all the rules. <laughs> you need to just do whatever you want. The rules don't apply. <laughs> Nick, that's his pass. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all you have to say. It's just <laughs> my name's Nick, <laughs> and they're like, "No, you're a deep." <laughs> I didn't say it. You guys, oh, I have to apologize about something to you guys. When I did the Lagunita video, I was using my my uh, vape in the video, and I've tried to get off of cigarettes for years, and I've been on and off, but I've been off for the past eight months. And I've been using this new vaping thing, which apparently isn't that bad for you, but I'm I'm assuming it probably is because there's not an, there's not enough long-term studies on it. But yeah, so I'm sorry about that, you guys. I didn't want any kids seeing me smoking my 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 vape or anything like that. So I apologize about that from, from the bottom of my heart. I apologize about that. And look at all these fire trucks just waiting, just waiting. They're all sitting there like, please don't make this go. Like, this is gonna be a lot of work. Please don't make this go. Just get paid just for sitting there. Look at hole number one. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Stop it. Ow. You know what, guys? I got an idea. Look at the bird with the red hat. Was that a cardinal, babe? No, the cardinal's all red. I don't know, but you missed it this morning. I was feeding over a hundred blue jays. No way. I swear. You know they're violent, right? So you're very, very oh, lucky. They, uh, well, and then there was just one blue jay girl, I noticed. Just one girl out of all the boys. What's up with that? Look at that, babe. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that was right above where we just were, guys. Literally, that was. that's why he, he, he like looked at me like I'm smoking crack or something. But, literally, but literally see, like. see, when I have a really pretty girl like like my wife, I, I don't feel like I have to worry of, of, about getting too much crap about anything. Because everyone's always always sweet to my wife. I like, guess she's so pretty. That's really, you, people are a lot sweeter to you than they are me. Uh oh, see, here you go again. They're, they're not going to let you through. This is not a thought. Oh, yeah. It's a looky loo. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh wait, is not what we are, <laughs> or what I am. My wife is not a looky loo like me, guys. She, I'm just dragging her with me. She's, she's probably thinking, why don't we stay out of the way <laughs> and let them do their damn job? But my wife knows me. I am super annoying, and <laughs> when I'm wanting to do something, I do it. Nothing anybody can do about it. Okay, so that's the fire right there. You can't hardly see anything right there, but that's the other side. And then look, we get a little lake view down there. Let me zoom in on this bad boy. Look at that, look at the lake. So I thought we'd get a better view up here, but not, not necessarily. I wonder if those officers recognize me when I said my YouTube channel. I can, I'm pretty sure they all know about me because of how I used to drive in, in the snow, recording everything. So I'm sure they're like, oh, we can't wait to catch him. But the past few years, because of you guys and because of the channel growing so much, I've listened to all your advice, especially when you guys tell me things out of just kindness and loving and wanting me to be safe. So I just want to say thank you guys for helping me change. I don't cuss on the channel anymore. I don't drive like a super jerk anymore. I don't yell at people anymore. I don't cuss at people anymore. I, you guys have helped me change to become a better man, and I really appreciate you guys. And then what ended up closing the circle was finding this woman to the right of me, who for some odd reason annoys the hell out of me, and I just don't know why. But I love her to that. She makes me feel worth it and that I am loved very supportive of everything I do. Oh, look at this. Yeah, we're in the way here. We need to get out of here. I can't wait for you guys
guys to see the hotel video. I'm, I'm afraid to post that first because if I post this video afterwards, no one's gonna watch the hotel video. And it's like, the, like, I feel bad saying it's not the nicest hotel that we stayed at, but it was super good enough for me, especially with that view. Like I, I'm down to stay there anytime and all the time, you guys. Like, it was nice. Don't get me wrong. It it, it, it just wasn't what I thought it would be for the location. I thought a location like that, they would take full advantage and put in the five-star amenities all over the place so they can charge an arm and a leg. Because that room should have cost us maybe, what, like a thousand a night maybe? And like, if it was a Marriott, guys, that, that room right there is 500 to a thousand per night. We only paid $144 per night in their best view room. It's, it's pretty spectacular, but anyway, we're gonna keep the video on as we drive down into Moonridge right here because right when we pop around this U-turn we make here, it's gonna be a beautiful view over the, over the golf course of the fire. And as you guys can see, there is not, there aren't many people in town. I think most, most of these folks got super scared and bounced. Oh wait, no, that's not the case. We don't have many residents up here, guys. So the few that are here probably took off. Everything else is Airbnb. Okay, we just came around that corner. We're at the golf course now, guys. Look at that fire. We gotta pull over. This will be enough for a car to get by, for sure. Guys, my wife's car is so awesome. It's a Mitsubishi, it's a freaking bad ice. Yeah. That's, a, that's a loud fire. And it's so... He said they're gonna drop. What was that? <laughs> really, brother? Th thank you, man. Are they DC-10s? Yeah, I I saw four, four, four big engines on it. I'm doing this for my YouTube channel up here called Big Bear Weather and More. Thank you. She must have heard of it. And thanks for letting us chip. Just two minutes. <laughs> just two minutes. Oh, there it is right there. There it is right there. Look at that thing coming in, you guys. Look at how huge that is. Okay, it's not focusing on the plane, so we're just going to stay on the plane. Wait till you guys see how much FOSS check gets dropped oh my gosh that is insane babe watch how it dives down too these planes are so high tech with with their technology well, obviously high tech with their technology <laughs> they dive like crazy these things have angles of approach for 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 everything just i don't even know what i'm talking about it's they attack it at super steep angles you'll see it because it it has to dive down really low that is so cool That is so cool. Okay guys, here he goes. Let me zoom in a bit. Or maybe he's going back. If he's flying into the fire right there, why isn't he dropping anything yet? Luna. Oh, he just flew into the clouds back there. Where's he dropping it over there? He, he might be going to turn around to come in closer. Let's see. Wow, babe, that's a huge plane. And guys, really quickly, that is our cute little doggies. Oh, that was that was a sneaky little. You mind if we wait here for like two minutes for that, baby? Thank you so much. All right, you guys. So I'm not gonna bore you just by keeping. It. Well, it's probably not boring for you guys. So I'll just keep it going. It's lower down the mountain than the first time. Babe, that's right there. We're so far away from it though, but all it takes is the wind to pick up, babe, and embers flying into our trees over there. Yeah. That's all it takes. That's how these fires spread so quickly. But thankfully, we still have monsoonal moisture in the area, which is keeping us at like 50% humidity, which is humongous for our area. If we were at zero or like 5%, like we usually are, when these things happen, uh, it would be dev like way more devastating. But there's so much moisture in the air, so oh, it's so awesome. I love you, baby. 
Sorry guys, I didn't mean to point the phone down a little bit. I was getting a smooch. Well deserved one. <laughs> An earned one. Thanks, baby. I did on the North Shore, you guys catch one of the planes dropping a huge amount of fast check up there, but we barely caught it, but we did catch it. So I'm just hoping we uh, get another. Another plane coming. That is so crazy, guys. That is so crazy. Probably wondering Sorry. if you're okay. That's true. Seriously, I don't understand the whole phone call. And if, if you need to talk, then talk. Guys, when text messaging first came out, I was so against it. I thought you were so lame for text messaging. Like you as in you in general. And now that's all I do. Okay, this, oh, here he comes. He's coming around now. There he is. He's barking at that German Shepherd up there. Okay, guys, look at this guy. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Let's zoom in on that bad boy. He's right there. The huge plane. Huge plane. DC-10 is what I was told. So look, we're just gonna keep the picture on the fire and the plane will come into sight in just a moment. We're gonna pan out a little bit so we don't get it too blurred of a video. Oh no, he's gonna drop it down below on the other side. Oh, come on, buddy. Don't do that to us. Don't do that to us. He did. It, oh my gosh. Once, if we see him pull up steeply, babe, then it means that he already dropped it. And all these big planes, they're flying from that little uh, San Bernardino airport. And if our fires get big enough, they send them from like Northern California's fire departments and stuff like that. All right, guys. So unfortunately, we're not seeing any... Uh, planes dropping anything right here what i'm thinking about doing in a little bit is going to the other side of the lake again and recording from there because we can see everything from there. this is just up close and personal all right that's it for now i think we'll turn it oh there's a chopper wow get in the chopper That's only gonna drop water, but that's okay. Or that might be, let's see. We're gonna zoom in, because he is dropping water. He is gonna be dropping water. Right there, go, drop it, drop it. Whoa, that plane came right out of the cloud. You see that? It looked like it was gonna hit the helicopter. That's crazy. That's freaking crazy. Where are you dropping it, buddy? We're not paying you to like to, to get a nice view. Drop the damn water. <laughs> well, he's not dropping any water. He already did. Hey, can you see it burning down? There? It's getting closer. As I said, thank goodness we're not like up the hill because fire always naturally burns a lot faster uphill because all the flames are reaching up to those trees up higher up higher the hill and it just keeps on keep on going that way so thankfully this is downhill oh here we go here we go here's another plane huge flame let me zoom in so you guys can see it i mean that is a monster hey that's a huge plane i hope it drops it in front here You guys, I know this is gonna sound really, really bad, but like, this is super exciting. Okay. 
Oh wow, he's coming in low. He's coming in the front. Babe, look at how low these guys get. Jack, drop it, drop it. Damn it. Hopefully he's still flying. There have been accidents with those DC-9s, you guys, because they have to take such steep angles of attack where they've actually crashed. There's another chopper. Okay, he's he's got to be dropping water. He's Or else he'd be flying straight to the lake. Just one more zoom on this guy and then... Oh my gosh, and there's another plane right behind it. Oh, that was the same one that just dropped. Oh, he's gonna drop it. Let's see. It looks like it, babe. Wow, that is so cool. It's a, it's a, a, a what type of a, a Swarovski? A, what, what, what the hell are those, those choppers called? Okay, drop it, buddy. Oh, there's a huge thing pluming up right there. Huge smoke. That's where he's going right now on the very left side, babe. See it? It's really out of control there. Well, I think they know we're watching, so they don't want to show us. It definitely looks like it's burning fast. Doesn't it? What I look, what with, I'm seeing and, with my eyes. And without much rain or wind, sorry. Mm -hmm. Guys, that hurricane. I mean, it's come down the hill. A lot, a just, lot. just so, since we've been here. So like it wasn't at the red when we drove up and now it's reaching to the red where they put, where they dropped that red. Yeah. So that's pretty scary. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna head out. Oh, let me tell him thank you. Thank you, guys. Look, he's just stay, he's staying right on top of it right there. There's also a little lake up there too, where he might be getting water too. Yeah. Um, in the uh, and what I mean by lake is the reservoir for the ski resorts, like where they keep all the water. As much as I want to live way up there, you guys, like this is what scares me.